Planet Earth is definitely a beautiful place to live. Nearly every corner of the planet has some feature which inspires awe and wonder. Oftentimes, though, we don't realize that we are looking at the results of a particularly violent event in our Earth's geological history. For example, while our Earth was still in the process of forming, the surface was full of all types of volcanic activity. Some of these were large enough to even alter the geography of the land around it. Although this type of activity has become less common in recent history, it is possible. Today, our planet faces some of the same threats that existed millions of years ago. The way that our planet works has not changed. Around our planet lie several supervolcanoes, sometimes in rather unassuming places, and many scientists agree that a few of these massive volcanoes are overdue for an eruption. From Lake Taupo to Yellowstone, here are five supervolcanoes that could end life as we know it. Starting on the Pacific Island country of New Zealand, in the middle of North Island lies Lake Taupo. It rests in the caldera of Taupo Volcano, the region's supervolcano. The first of its numerous eruptions occurred 300,000 years ago. However, its most recent super eruption, known as the Orua Nui eruption, was a mere 26,500 years ago, and is the one that is responsible for the shaping of the caldera in which Lake Taupo sits. This volcano is unique in that it is made up of multiple volcanic vents which can produce separate eruptions. There was an eruption known as the Hatepe eruption that occurred sometime between AD 180 and 233, which ejected nearly 29 cubic miles of material. 7.2 cubic miles of this material was ejected in the span of only a few minutes. While it doesn't quite qualify as a super eruption, it definitely does make the Hatepe eruption the most violent eruption in the last 5,000 years. What is the outlook for this volcano? How safe are we? Well, there is a little bit of concern here. Taupo is not dormant. It is active, spewing small eruptions from time to time. However, it has a pattern that can be followed, which shows that on average, there is a major eruption every 1,000 years. But it has been about twice that long since the last major eruption. If this pattern is accurate, that means there could be cause for concern. The scariest prospect, though, is the possibility of a super eruption. Should that happen, major global effects would be felt that could possibly spell trouble for humanity. One of the most beautiful and peaceful places in America is Yellowstone National Park. It is home to a vast array of wildlife and is packed with absolutely stunning landscapes. One of the biggest things that Yellowstone is known for are the geysers that exist. The most famous of these is Old Faithful, which routinely shoots towers of boiling and sometimes acidic water into the air. There are many other geysers and hot springs. However, it does leave people wondering, what causes scalding hot water to burst out of the ground like that? In actuality, the beautiful Yellowstone National Park sits in the caldera of a massive supervolcano that last erupted nearly 630,000 years ago. Will it ever erupt again? Well, it is considered a dormant volcano, which means it is only asleep. The park sits atop two magma chambers, huge voids under the surface that are filling with magma. The most shallow of these chambers is the most concerning to scientists. It is incredibly massive, measuring about 55 miles long and 25 miles wide, and yet it only sits between 3 and 10 miles beneath the surface. If it did explode, how soon would it happen? It's difficult for scientists to say. They've been measuring the ground above the magma chamber for years, trying to detect movement. On average, the ground has been rising about 0.6 inches per year, indicating that the magma chamber is filling, putting pressure on the surface. However, between 2004 and 2008, the upward movement of the ground averaged about 3 inches per year. But if it were to explode, the size, violence, and heat generated would make most nuclear explosions seem minuscule. Nearly 80% of the continental United States would be covered by debris, and the ash cloud that reaches into the atmosphere could block out the sun for years, resulting in terrible winters, which most, if not all, of humanity would not survive. The country of Indonesia is a chain of islands that is part of the volcanic Ring of Fire that surrounds the Pacific Ocean and includes mountains and volcanoes in numerous countries. 
One of the islands in Indonesia, Sumatra, is the home of Lake Toba. The lake sits in the collapsed caldera of a supervolcano that last erupted 75,000 years ago. At the same time, it was the site of the largest explosive eruption in Earth's history. The lake is 62 miles long, 19 miles wide, and 1,657 feet deep. This not only gives you the scale of the lake itself, it shows you how massive the volcano actually is. When it last erupted, over 2,800 cubic kilometers of magma were ejected. 800 cubic kilometers were deposited as ashfall. As a result, all of Southeast Asia was covered in 6 inches of ash, with some areas seeing up to 30 feet of coverage. The eruption was so large that it is believed to have caused a genetic bottleneck in human evolution, nearly leading to our extinction. Our population was reduced to between 3,000 and 10,000. Although this eruption happened many centuries ago, scientists predict that this volcano will explode again, with possibly the same, if not more disastrous, effects. Evidence has been put forth showing that the magma chamber under Lake Toba has started filling again. Seismic activity in the area has also greatly increased, even producing the earthquake that caused the 2004 Indian Ocean tsunami that killed over 230,000 people. Now that the population of the Earth is much higher, the damage from the same explosion would be much more catastrophic and result in the death of billions. However, some scientists believe that the next eruption could be even bigger than the last and bring about the coldest and longest ice age in history. Certain areas of the Andes Mountains have been hotspots for volcanic activity throughout history. Such is the case of Cerro Guacha, a caldera located in southwestern Bolivia. It is considered to be part of the Central Volcanic Zone, which is one of three volcanic zones in the Andes. The caldera of this massive volcano measures 37 miles long by 25 miles wide and stands 17,200 feet above sea level. When Guacha was active, its eruptions were incredibly violent. Nearly 4.2 million years ago, Cerro Guacha erupted with incredible force, producing pyroclastic flows that ejected over 17 cubic miles of rock and ash. Then again, nearly a million years after, another eruption occurred which ejected over 35 cubic miles of material. Such eruptions, along with the ash cloud, were thought to have killed nearly every living thing within hundreds of miles. There has been no major activity in recent history. Also, the knowledge of this caldera's history is relatively unknown, as it wasn't even discovered until it was identified by satellite imagery in 1978. Few to no humans have been in the area due to the unforgiving terrain. However, scientists have been able to conduct some tests, reading geological results from surrounding areas and calculating what happened in the past along with what could happen in the future. But, if the past is any indicator, the future could look quite bleak for this part of the world. La Garita Caldera may not be one of the most well-known supervolcanoes in the world, however it is one of great significance. Just outside the town of Creed in southwestern Colorado is the San Juan Mountains. It is here where you can find the La Garita Caldera. The eruption that created the Lagarita Caldera ranks as one of the largest known volcanic eruptions in history. But it was not a recent eruption. It occurred around 27 million years ago. The size of this caldera is a monstrous 22 miles wide and 62 miles long. The explosion destroyed nearly every bit of the land that is present-day Colorado. The Fish Canyon Tuff is the ash flow that resulted from the eruption. It covered an area that was at least 11,000 square miles and an average of 330 feet thick. Some areas were buried in up to 500 feet of ash. In terms of power, the La Garita volcanic eruption was nearly 5,000 times greater than the eruption of Mount St. Helens. It was one of the most devastating eruptions ever known to have occurred. Today, the La Garita caldera is considered to be extinct. But does that mean that we're out of the woods? It's hard to say. Scientists don't seem too concerned. However, with this supervolcano being so close to the Yellowstone supervolcano, it's worth keeping an eye on. Supervolcanoes are the hidden threats of today. The scariest thought of all is that no matter what we know about them, there's nothing that can be done to prevent their eruptions. 
The only thing we can do is prepare ourselves, doing everything we can to preserve life. If you enjoyed this video, then you'll definitely want to click the link on screen now to check out the five largest volcano eruptions in recorded history. With that, thanks for watching, and we'll see you next time.